Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today I just wanted to hop on here and do a quick little video um, showing you guys some of my recent purchases. And I have a couple bags that are new and a couple bags that are a little bit older slash vintage. So if you're interested in this haul video, um, do stay tuned. Just for full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach as an essay. However, all the bags on my channel are from my own personal collection and I'm just here to share with you guys my personal love for handbags. Also, if you guys like these kind of videos and um, things that are like related to handbags and other stuff, um, do consider liking and subscribing. And um, you can also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag related content. Okay, so the first couple bags are actually going to be like older styles I found while thrifting and then I'll go into the newer styles. So yeah, the first one I got is actually this little cute bag right here, which is actually um, a crossbody bag. I don't know like what the name of like the older styles are, but this one just looks really cute. It's like a square little crossbody bag. And the cool thing too is that if you guys like, remember from the Coach Champion collection, um, they actually made a bag just like this like um for the collection it was like in signature canvas and then the front had like the um champion story patch on the front and yeah it was actually inspired from i think this bag and it's kind of cool because it's just like a magnetic um top like so and the inside is just one compartment with a little slip pocket in the back um the string on this bag or i should say the crossbody strap is not removable um it's just attached on the sides like so and the crossbody strap is kind of cool because it is um, a little bit long. So if you need to, you can actually like knot it like so, which I think is like kind of cool. And then it also has the little hang tag as well. Uh, but yeah, a super cute little crossbody bag. Ta-da! So bag number two is this one right here, which is a signature jacquard shoulder bag. And it's in this really pretty brown color and it has all this like contrast stitch detailing around the bottom and also in the center as well. It's like a very like 2000s read crack off moment, kind of cool. Um, silver hardware and it has all this detail too on the leather strap like so. Um, it is just a zip top shoulder bag so it just is one compartment like that. And I think it has a zip pocket. Yeah, it has a zip pocket in the back here and then the story patch. Um, but I don't know. I just thought this bag was really cute as just like a little shoulder bag. I love this like signature jacquard print um, from like the 2000s. It's really cool and it's super on trend with uh, all the other coach signature jacquard items too. And I think it looks kind of cute just worn over the shoulder like this. Um, I don't know if I would wear it with this shirt. My friend gave me the shirt and... I don't know. I think it looks kind of funny with like the giant collar. It's from H&M, but I don't know. It looks kind of cute, but yeah, there's this shoulder bag. Um, so yeah, I'll move on to the next bag. And then the last bag I want to share with you guys is this little bag right here, and it's called the Coach um, Mini Shopper Bag. And it's really cool because it has these cool top handles here that are padded on the top like so. Um, but luckily, it does come with a crossbody strap, so you can wear it over the shoulder or crossbody as well. And I only know the name of this bag just because it is currently on the Coach website. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, it's a vintage version that they have, I don't think they redone. I think they like restored it and put it on the website for sale. And it's in a really pretty red color. Um, so it's kind of cool to see Coach doing that, like bringing back vintage bags and restoring them um for people today so i think it's kind of cool so yeah um i'm pretty happy with mine in all black and i'm actually using it today as well so yeah love this one a lot next two bags i want to share with you guys are two bags i got customized and the first one is the little kip crossbody bag so on the front of this bag i got two pins um i got the little rexy pin on this side and then the double heart pin i decided to go with this pin just because i didn't have this in my collection so i thought it was really cute to get um something with the double heart pin like so and then the remaining area on the flap i just got the little stardust rivets to fill in the empty space here but I just want to share with you guys like how it turned out. I think it looks really cute too. I feel like Rexy is always a safe like customization pin to get. So if you don't know what to get, I feel like Rexy is always safe. And then if your store has um, the double hard pin, this is really cute too. I don't think all Coach Create stores have this pin. I could be wrong, but I think only select locations have them. So yeah, there's that. 
And then the last bag I got customized is actually one that is very special to me. And that is this little bag right here, which is the Swinger bag in black. Um, it's nothing special. It's just, you know, like the Swinger bag. But I got it embroidered. And as you can see, I don't know if the light is like reflecting on the smooth leather. But I got some cute little embroidery done. So I have the little rainbow here. I have a little martini glass um, in like white thread with like a pink fuzzy drink and then I got twice embroidered on the front um, in like the center and then my initials with a thunderbolt. And if you guys like follow me on Instagram, you guys definitely know I'm really big into the K-pop group twice. Um, they are my favorite girl group. Um, Ever, and I listen to their music like all the time it is great motivation for me um, when I'm feeling down I listen to like feel special and I feel a lot better about myself and it was really cool because I actually was able to work with the artist over um, a zoom appointment at a coach store and you know I talked to her and she helped me like lay out and design this bag and where the like, embroidery was gonna lay and then if you're curious to um the embroidery process you know does go through the lining of the bag as well so there's like all of the um details in the back here from the embroidery but yeah it's super cute and i will say i think i am going to also get this bag um some more customizations like thrown on it so i think i will put a little bit of some stardust rivets too and maybe a couple of coach pins on the front just to make it super extra cute um so yeah there's that bag and i love it a lot Ugh, twice if you're if you don't listen to their music you totally should it's really good so yeah the last two bags are actually going to be um recent purchases so there are new bags to my collection and the first one is this one right here which is the mark jacobs um medium traveler tote and this is the one that is the basic standard model um so it's in a really heavy duty canvas and just says the tote bag on the front like so and then on the back just has the little um patch like i guess about the brand and has two handles and looks pretty simple and then you have a little utility belt right here on the side and the inside is um, a pretty standard setup, I feel like, for a tote like this. Um, it is just a zip top closure, like so. And then on the back here, you have a zip pocket with two extra little slip pockets on the pouch. And then the Marc Jacobs branding. Um, the inside is actually lined or coated in a material that is water resistant. So if you have any snacks that spill in here or water, you can easily wipe that clean. Um, and you also do get a longer crossbody strap too, which I think is really nice for this tote. Um, so you have this like crossbody strap that's like in a black like web nylon material. And then it also is in silver hardware. Plus it's adjustable. So that's pretty cool as well. And then when it comes to this tote bag, I really wasn't planning on buying this bag. This bag was definitely an impulse purchase. Um, I was in New York for like a week and my friend and I were in, I think Bloomingdale's at first and we were looking at this bag. Um, and I don't know, I kind of just like fell in love with it. And then later on in like our day, we actually were in Soho and there was actually a Marc Jacobs store and we saw all the color options of this tote that was available. Um, I think it comes in blue, this color, um, a beige, pink, and then a daisy print as well. And then solid black. Um, my friend got the solid black with like the white um, text on the front and then I got this one here which is I think the khaki or slate green color um, and I don't know I think this is a really cute little bag. Um, I've used it a couple times I really do like it. Super lightweight, very casual and carefree and yeah I think for a tote bag this is really great. Um, if you're somebody who doesn't love like the giant text here um, I think well, actually, no, I think they all have, like, this, like, really aggressive text on the front. But you could always carry the bag backwards and just have the little pouch on the front here, like so. Um, but I think overall, super cute tote bag. And the last bag is a bag I also really didn't think I was going to buy either. But um, I've had a couple people ask me if I was going to get it or if I could do a review on it. Um, and I don't know, the curiosity just lingered in my mind and I just decided to go ahead and get it and I'm 
really happy I actually did buy it. And that is this bag right here, which is the um, Beat Saddle Bag, and I got it in the color Ivory. It's just like any other Beat bag, I feel like, from the collection. It just doesn't have the really pretty chain strap, but it has this really um, chunky buckle detail here on the front that is a snap button closure. Um, the inside is lined with microfiber. You get a zip pocket in the back like so, and then a front pocket right here. And then in the back, you do also get a slip pocket as well. And here's just a quick look at the crossbody strap. So you do get a pretty thick crossbody strap that is adjustable. And then you also do get a D ring detail right here for the hang tag. And then you can obviously also hang um, bag charms here as well. And I will say I've had this bag for about three weeks now, almost a month. And I really do like this bag a lot. Um, I think it's a really great saddle bag. So if you're somebody who does love that saddle bag shape, I think this is a great bag for you. And um, if you have the saddle bag 23, I think it is pretty comparable to that size. And I'm also going to definitely do a review on this bag as well and also do a comparison video between the regular beat bag and the beat bag 18 since I've had a couple of questions on it. So I will try to get that out as well for you. Um, but yeah. There's that. So you guys like notice that the background's a little bit different and I look like garbage. Um, it's because I have to like refilm this last little bit just because I didn't save on my phone. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions about any items I showed in today's video, um, just um, leave a comment down below and I can try to help you out that way. Or you can also send me a message on Instagram too and I can reply back that way as well. Um, and I also will try and make two videos a week again. Um, I know I was doing like a video like every two weeks um, just because I feel like life has gotten like a little bit busy for me um, like within that period but I think things have definitely like slowed down a bit. Um, so I will be back on schedule hopefully um, and it was actually a really good break for my brain too like my mental health so love that. Um, but yeah, um, I will definitely be making two videos a week again. Um, and yeah, hopefully you guys like enough, like these videos enough to consider liking and subscribing. And if you want to, you can follow me on Instagram too for more, um, handbag related content. So yeah, have a great rest of your day guys. Bye!